Hello there, it's Cassie. I hope your week is off to a good week. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a volcano card. I have been dying to use this stamp and die, and this is the My Favorite Things Volcano Die along with the Lava U stamp set. I'm going to be pairing that up with some other My Favorite Things uh, items, such as the Dots and Stripes Brights 6x6 paper pack and the Fresh Squeeze Chevron. I'm also using the Essential Slanted Sentiment Strip and the In and Out Stitched Dies. So to get started, I went ahead and used the biggest in and out stitched rectangle die on some of that fresh squeeze chevron, and I ran that through my Big Shot machine. And honestly, I don't enjoy using my Big Shot that much simply because um, my space is limited. I've said that a zillion times. So if I can use my Sizzix Sidekick, believe you me, I will grab that puppy out. So for the rest of these things that I could get through my Sizzix sidekick, like the little volcano and the little lava that sits on the top, I ran those through my Sizzix sidekick, just using some of that dots and stripes brights along with the fresh squeeze chevron. And then I'm going to take the little smoke or clouds or whatever you want them to be, and I'm going to run those through as well a couple different times, just using some Nina cardstock that I have sitting on my desk, just some scraps. And I'm also going to run those to, um, well, I guess the explosion or the fire or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to run those through as well. We all know I love my Sizzix sidekick. So to color those little flames, I'm going to use my Vivas Beauty brushes. I've got some candied apple distress ink. These are just the regular distress cubes. And I'm going to ink those up. And then I'm going to just brush that all over that biggest flame. These brushes work great. I, I mentioned these the other day. I decided to give these a try because they were only $8.97 or something like that on Amazon. And I really love the way they work. And I'm doing this on my glass mat, which is why the cleanup is so easy. Um, and now I've grabbed my mustard seed. I didn't clean off my brush as good as I should have. Um, I just got a little lazy, I think. And then I decided to, um, it wasn't enough. So I grabbed that brush again and then just did the bottom because I wanted to make sure if that whole thing shows that the whole thing is covered. So I cleaned off my brush really, really well this time. And then I grabbed out a couple more colors. I've got my spiced marmalade. And I'm going to do that just over the top of my lava. And I'm only going to do it just kind of on the edges. I want to make sure that I don't cover that patterned paper too much. I really like those dots. They're so pretty. And so I'm just kind of just putting that all over the edges. Just brushing that on the edges. And then for my volcano itself, I'm using some tea dye distress ink and doing the exact same thing. I just want to have a little bit of variation on those edges. And then we're going to start assembling or at least getting ready to assemble. This die comes with several pieces for your mechanism and that first piece just cuts out a little a long oval and that's basically the slider mechanism how that's going to get the lava to go in and out or up and down. And then I also cut out that big piece and that big piece is the strip that you're going to pull in order to get your lava to come up. So that's basically how it'll sit behind. And I'm just kind of measuring because this panel that I'm going to have it sitting behind is uh, smaller. So you can cut down that panel that as you need, as you see fit. I've stamped the pole sentiment from that Lava U stamp set. And now I'm marking where I want to trim down that pole strip. And then I'll just put that th uh, onto my cutter, trim off the excess and then we're ready to go. I ended up trimming it down even a little bit more later on, but I didn't want to trim off too much if it wasn't necessary. Now I'm sitting that on the back because I want to see where my foam tape can go. You need to use foam tape so that your slider mechanism has room to slide and you don't want to put it right up against. You want to give it a little bit of room in order for that slider mechanism to be able to slide because if you stick it right along the edge, you're going to have a hard time getting that mechanism to slide up and down easily. And so then I just cover the rest of that with some of that scotch foam tape. I'm going to adhere my smaller lava to my bigger lava. And in the process, I end up getting a little bit of the red on my finger and putting it right onto that yellow flame. I'm using the My Favorite Things Replenishments. These are just little discs. 
and they're little plastic discs in order to make those slider mechanisms stand up. Uh, this is the easiest way I have found to do it, and I like that they sell them. So I have a bunch of those. I've used some uh, Ranger Multimedia Matte in order to get my mechanism to stick down, and I'm also just using it on all my pieces to get them adhered as well. I like this stuff because it does dry fairly quickly, and it dries matte. I also want to have my volcano have just a little bit of lift, and so I've just put... I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put it, but I just put a couple small pieces of that foam tape on the sides or the edges. You'd want to make sure that your lava has plenty of room to move and you don't want that volcano to be in the way. So as you set, uh, saw, I adhered my lava to my replenishment disc and now I am just putting the little clouds all over the back. They can be clouds or smoke or whatever you want to do. And as, I, as you can see, I'm getting low on that multimedia mat. I'm going to have to definitely get more of that. Love that stuff. And I'm just putting those all over the back. And it doesn't bother me that they're sticking off the edge. I will cut those off a little bit later. And when I have them where I want them, I'm going to start cutting off those excess clouds, the ones that are sticking off the edge. And when I'm done with that, I'll still start peeling off the backing paper so that I can adhere this to my panel. Everything is dry now. Like I said, the multimedia mat dries fairly quickly, so that's another reason I like it. I usually use a different liquid glue to adhere all my things, but it doesn't dry as quickly, so I figured this would be the best. And once I've got all that backing paper peeled off, I'm going to place that down onto just a piece of Nina cardstock, or Nina, yeah, Nina cardstock that I have. It's a top folding A2 size card. I'll peel off the backing paper on my volcano and then I will adhere that down to the front of my card. And as you can see, it moves very nicely. So for my sentiment, I've grabbed some more of that Nina card stock. I stuck it in my mini Misty and I'm going to stamp my sentiment that just says, holy smokes, a couple times using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And I'll trim that down, and I'm going to use those Essential Slanted Sentiment strips over the top of that and run that through my Civic Sidekick. And then I will put a couple pieces of foam tape where that will sit just onto my card front, making sure that I have enough, but this stuff holds so, so well you don't need to put too much. And then I'll just peel off the backing paper, and I'll stick my sentiment down. And for a final bit of embellishment, I am using some Nuvo Yellow Bird Crystal Drops. These are a little bit more transparent. Or they're the Glitter crystal, crystal Drops. And when I'm finished with that, that's actually going to finish off this card. I will definitely be using this die many times. And the pull die, along with the little mechanism, can be used on plenty of other cards. So this is a great die to have in your collection. If you liked this video, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And as always, thanks guys for stopping by.